Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the error checking button that appears in the formula auditing button group on the formulas tab in the ribbon to trace and correct formula errors in your worksheets. To do this, just click the error checking button in the formula auditing button group on the formulas tab in the ribbon while selecting a worksheet that contains formula errors. You'll then show the first formula error encountered in the worksheet in the error checking dialog box. You can click the help on this error button to launch an associated help page for this error topic in a separate window. You can read the information and close the window when you are finished. You can then click the resume button if needed within the error checking dialog box to resume error checking the sheet. If you click the show calculation steps button in the error checking dialog box, it then launches the evaluate formula dialog box. Note that you can also launch this dialog box independently of the error checking dialog box. You can separately launch this dialog box by clicking the Evaluate Formula button in the Formula Auditing button group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. In the Evaluate Formula dialog box, you can click the Evaluate button to evaluate the underlined reference displayed in the formula. If you have nested references in the formula, you can step through each calculation to view when the error occurs. You can click the Restart button to restart the calculation again if needed. If the underlined reference that is being evaluated is a reference to another formula, you can click the Step In button to view that function in this window and evaluate its value. You can then click the Step Out button to step back out of that formula and into the original formula to continue evaluating the first formula. When you are finished, you can click the Close button to return to the error checking dialog box. You can click the Ignore Error button to skip the error displayed in the formula and continue to the next formula error. However, once you choose to ignore an error, you will no longer be able to recheck it using the error checking feature. This acts much like telling the spell checker feature to ignore a misspelled word. It will no longer regard the error cell as being an error even though the formula still won't function. You can click the Options button in the lower left corner of this dialog box to fix this. Click the Reset Ignored Errors button in the Options dialog box and then click the OK button to reset ignored errors. You can click the Edit in Formula Bar button in the Error Checking dialog box to display the formula in the Formula Bar where you can edit it to fix the mistake. Once you feel that you've corrected the problem, you can then press the Enter button within the Formula Bar to set the formula. You can then click the Resume button in the Error Checking dialog box to resume error checking. You can also just click the Previous and Next buttons at the bottom of the Error Checking dialog box to move through the malfunctioning formulas in your worksheet without ignoring them. When you finish viewing all of the errors in your formula cells, you will see a small dialog box that appears to tell you that the error check is complete. Click OK to finish your error checking. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.